childhood video games degenerosity bro i ain't gonna lie if i don't even know how to put this in sentences bro if you haven't played any console before the playstation 3 or the xbox 360 bro nah nah i'm lying i'm gonna say ps4 and xbox one if you haven't played the older generation consoles you are missing out on so many good games i'm gonna just leave it at that i'm not gonna lie i love distractions they help me forget the pain of reality <clears throat> so video games to me is like a blessing from the heavens itself they take us to a new world with new opportunities where you could be whoever with some of them being where you can straight up do whatever you want it's so peak fantasy it's also a cool pastime. And as a kid, I was a bona fide gamer. I say as a kid, cause nowadays, other than the usual squad games you play with the homies, I don't really be gaming too much. The only game I really be putting my hours in is Overwatch. And I'm not proud of that. I'm embarrassed. Anyways, that's why I wanted to talk about games that I actually like. Let's games from it. my childhood. Yes. I'ma just be talking about the games I used to love yes. to play back then. And there might be one or two games that you used to play that I might mention. And if I do mention one, we might be long lost twins. Because some of these games are my favorite of all time and have developed me into the man I am today. So take a Hi. seat as I discuss my Damn. childhood video games. Let's get it, bro. Okay, you sat? All right, you got to stay seated because this video is sponsored. No, 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 you can't leave. You already sat. <laughs> I've been Team Xbox all my life. Been with them since they sold my mom a new Xbox that didn't even work. Back then, Sheesh. I would play most of my games. Crazy work. Being sold something that doesn't work is crazy. Yo, I'm a, I'm a PlayStation head. I ain't going to lie. I got into Xbox late. All my friends were on Xbox. I was the only one with the PlayStation, bro. And then people started getting the play shit and I went and got the Xbox. I was late to the party, but your boy had a little bit of fun on it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't miss out too much. Games offline because it took us a minute to even get Xbox Live. By the time we got it, Sheesh. the Xbox One was already coming out. Because of that, I ain't really played games like Halo or yeah, Call yeah, of yeah. Duty. I know they got story modes, but to me, those weren't the main selling points. Facts. I wanted to shoot people and talk <laughs> on voice chat. So I played games where the fun wasn't in having a Wi-Fi connection people and talk this game right here mw2 2009 or 8 i think it's 9 this is probably one of the games i put most of my hours in out of my entire gaming journey bro no cap no cap Shit on voice chat. So I played games where the fun wasn't in having a Wi-Fi connection, but connecting with the story and characters. And what better way to do that than with a property you already know front to back? That's why the Naruto games were my sh I'm pretty sure I copped every single 360 Naruto game besides lie. Storm 2. These games were so lit. I must have played the story mode of Rise of Ninja Never about 11 em. times by now. Mainly because it was so short. It only covered up to the Gara attack in the village. And the game is only told in Naruto's perspective, so they skip a bunch of fights and storylines. Sasuke getting the curse mark skipped. Rock Lee vs. Gara glossed over. Ino vs. Sakura? Don't nobody give a fuck about that, but they skipped that too! <laughs> Jutsus were also annoying AF to do. You had to hold both triggers and do some quick gymnastics with the sticks, holding it down. Thing almost gave me carpal tunnel. Half the missions are following rings, delivering scrolls, and going against these bum filler bandits. But back then, I would eat this up like a chicken Caesar salad without the salad. Hey, bro. You gotta, you gotta do what it does. At least you got something, right? I love the kind of open worldness of the game, running Facts. around the leaf village and construction sites. The oats were cool and stylish, and the ramen delivery missions? Now those would make me come back to the game for seconds. These parts of the game <laughs> went hard, and it ain't that hard to impress Kid Me. All this game needed was the Nine Tails transformation and sexy jutsu for my attention. And it has both! I was raving! In terms of nostalgia, <laughs> the game went hard. But I definitely say the Storm series was a huge improvement. And I say that not as a diss. It's hard to beat Peak. The Ninja Storm series is literally the best thing anime. Yo, again, I never played it. I've watched people play it. One of my friends uh, played it. I watched them play it. Yo. Yeah, this this was a good one. I ain't gonna lie. The, the, the graphics, everything was nice. No bullshit. Hey, games can off. Although I've heard a lot of hype for the Dragon Ball ones, and Roblox got some cool games too. 
but I doubt any of them are better than Ultimate Ninja Generations or Storm 3. I doubt. I also used to play a few Xbox Kinect games. Now, when I got the Kinect, I genuinely thought this was future technology. Like you can control a game with no controller and just using your hands and feet at the camera? <laughs> This is some back to the future type. I, thought I never, I had the connect, never tried it. For one, didn't have the space for it, like in my room. And I just didn't care, bro. I just wanted to sit and play, you know what I'm saying? And there weren't really much good connect games either. Nah. We gonna have this technology by the Xbox 720. But here it was, right here. So then we got a few games, Connect Joyride and Connect Adventures. I, I'm lying. I'm lying like a f I actually did play this. It was so janky though. It was so janky. Again, maybe because I didn't have space. I played Connect Adventures. Joyride was so fun, connected both my hands to the game steering. It felt like I was actually driving a real life car. <laughs> Granted, I only had the demo, so I did one race and it kicked me out. But now I played a race on repeat. Connect Adventures, now this was my favorite Connect game. It was a bunch of outdoor activities I think you see a Boy Scout do, like water rafting. Uh, wipeout, target practice, stuff you would expect. Play this all the time with my brothers. My favorite one of these mini games was the aquarium one, where Yo. you had to block the cracks of glass so you don't <laughs> drown. And me in real life, yeah. controlling this game, you'd think I'm a mine. Rafting was fun too, Yo, yo, yo. I got to the parts where I have to jump because the connect would never pick up on me jumping. Every Janky, time I bro. tried jumping, it just wouldn't register Janky. in the game. Now I wasn't jumping too high because there's five other niggas that live with me, <laughs> AKA my family. And my room was upstairs. I couldn't be jumping around too much or too loud. My mom. He got it. And my family. And my room was upstairs. I couldn't be jumping around. Is this reversed? If it's not, he got it. I can't even do a backflip, bro. And he's doing too it. Too much or too Crazy. loud. My mom might have come in and beat my ass. Bro. So I was doing a bunch of little jumps, you know? But even when <laughs> no one was home and I was jumping as high as little old me could, the Kinect still wouldn't pick it up. This was a problem for all my Kinect games, which is why I fell off of it quickly. I had Sonic Free Riders Kinect version, and I never finished a single race on that game because it straight up wouldn't connect my body to the Xbox. It wouldn't work, Janky, bro. bro. I would try this multiple times, and it never worked. And the game was Kinect exclusive. <laughs> You can't play this with a controller. You have to use the Kinect. And since that ain't work, the game was used. It was with this. I realized I ain't want any more Kinect games. My mom would say no to me asking for games no. all the time. No. I'm not going to waste no. a few times no. she say no. yes on getting Kung Fu Panda 2 on Kinect. Facts. I needed a real game. Facts. Luckily, one day, the heavens blessed me with not one, but a four-in-one disc game. The Sega Dreamcast Collection. Crazy Taxi, Oof. Space Shuttle. Oh my god, Crazy Taxi, bro. That was fun too. Five part P two. On the, on the PS2? No. Y yes, PS2. Yeah, Mega yeah, 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 yeah. And Bass Pro Shop. Sonic Adventure crazy nice Taxi too. was crazy. <laughs> Picking up people that expect me to drive them across the entire city in 30 seconds. And if I'm two seconds late, they get out the car while I'm speeding doing 100 on the sidewalks. Like, they need to get to this stop so bad they willing to break all their bones in their body. We were just going to the gas station. Why are you in a rush? But that's what made it fun. Going crazy in a car, hitting pedestrians with no consequences. <laughs> Sounds like a drunk driver's dream. Dream. And little me was inspired by this. This was essentially my GTA before I knew what it was. What Great game. If you don't GTA, play BD Joe in the game, I don't Andreas trust you. Too, Sonic bro. Adventure. I ain't gonna lie, I barely played it. I thought the game looked ugly. And I tried to get into it. Nah, tweaking, bro. If I remember correctly, my cousin had this, bro. And every time I'd go over his crib, we'd stay on this game playing nonstop, bro. Literally non-stop. Didn't look the greatest, but bro, it was fun. I was a big fan of Sonic, which I'll get into it later. Was but so I couldn't fun, chill with bro. this game, bro. I hated the way the characters talk. The dialogue would sound so awkward. Their mouths were animated like they had dentures. And the music is great, but the music would be blasting over them talking, so you barely hear anything they're saying. <laughs> Thank God for the subtitles. I'm sorry to all my fellow Sonic writers. I'm probably speaking straight blasphemy right now. I'm he just is. saying what I he does. <laughs> Nah, bro, this game was it. Back in the day, bro, like I said, me and my cousin was on.
on this I thought for as a hours. Kid, I'ma definitely play this game again in the future. Hopefully the next time I play it, it'll knock some sense into me of how <laughs> truly great this game probably might be. It's so Space fun. Channel 5 Part 2 might be the best dance game I've ever played. It's a rhythm Fact. game set in space about the villain Purge, who wants the universe to dance for him against their will. And it's up to local news reporter <laughs> Ooh La La to save the Ooh universe la la. with her dancing. <laughs> And Gus, Space Gun. And this game Space is so fun. The game having fun, wild levels. Never going saw, heard, played it. Alien plant monsters, battle the bands. And th did I mention Space Michael Jackson is a supporting character? They got Michael Jackson in my pocket. And there's a mission huh? where you have to save him from Purge, and is actually voiced by Michael Jackson himself. This might be the best game That's of all crazy. time. The game is so colorful and stylish too. In the future, That's why everybody I didn't know got that. that shit on, bro. Nobody walks out their house with no sauce in this. This is a little bit of a spoiler, but the final battle of this game is probably the most fun I had with a final boss in a video game ever. You finally face Purge, he's freakier than ever. And it's like this one long song and dance battle. Purge and the setting keep changing, becoming more challenging. Then the final transformation battle happens and it's so fun, bro. I hope like, words can't describe how fun this ending is. This is so good, bro. Really the only complaint I have is that I wish it was longer cause you can legit beat this game in under two hours. But during that time, this game will have you dancing more than Nickelodeon dance. 2K edition. Space Channel 5 Part 2. It's up there with my favorites. And the Bass Fish and Bass Pro Shop game. <laughs> Miss. Miss Fishing. Miss Fishing. Nintendo. Oh, okay, I see what he's doing. Alright, that was Xbox. This is Nintendo. So many good games on here. Especially on the GameCube, bro. Again, my cousin had a GameCube. I was on the PlayStation 2. I got the best of both worlds, bro. Didn't own it, but was able to play so many games on this fucking console, bro. Before there was anything, before my Xbox, before my Leap Pad, I've been with Nintendo. I had almost every one of their consoles since my birth. From oh, the man. Game Boy Advance. Beautiful, beautiful. Shit ton of hours on Pokemon, Emerald, Sapphire, uh, Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby. Leaf green, fire red. Oh my boy. Them five Pokemon games, I was on it. I had a blue one that was my sister's. Then I don't know what happened to mine. It broke or some shit. She stopped playing it. I took hers. Ended up. I don't know what happened to him, bro. But goaded. Goaded. It's SP to the Switch. Man, grown up privileged is awesome. You should try it. I was just in the first it. place winning every Mario Kart DS Grand Prix. They used Actually. to call me Mustang because of my skills and lack of the order. Bakugan Battle Brothers, though, had <laughs> me doing the opposite. I would lose almost every game on there. It got to a point where I was just going on to play just to change my character's avatar. Because <laughs> they had some really good fits in that game, not gonna lie. New <laughs> Super Mario Bros., one yes. of my favorite DS games. Yes. The story and format is a lot like most mainline Mario games. Bowser's yes. in a drought and Peach is the rainforest. So he kidnapped her and Mario gotta save her ass free of charge for like the 12th time. Levels were super fun. The boss fights were crazy. PD always had me tweaking with every replay. It's a really yeah. good play. But I'm gonna be real, my memories aren't with the story mode too much. The real fun was playing the mini games and multiplayer. The mini games had me on a. Bro, there was this one mini game in this that I, yo, I could never, 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 never pass. But when I'm with my sister or somebody else playing it, they're quick. There it is. It was the one where it, it was like finding Waldo. But I think it was like finding Waluigi or it was Waluigi, right? In a pile of like Luigi's, I think, bro. I'm like, where the fuck is he, bro? Y'all ever played a, a console? You would pass it back and forth. Once you lose, you pass it. You feel me? Yeah, every time that mini game came up, I'd have to pass it because I couldn't, bro. Pass it to the next person. Two seconds. There he is. What you mean? 
a chokehold. I could not and when find playing it, a bro. multiplayer against my bros, I'd play harder than Prime Tyson. Danger Bob arm um, danger where I was avoiding a billion fast fireballs so I wouldn't blow. Crazy. Had me scratching my screen with my fingernails, making my bottom screen look like a cat fight happened on top of it. <laughs> Puzzle panel had me sweating because I had no idea how to play this back then. I didn't get what panel Fuck I was that. gonna press. Like, how was I supposed to know which one to press? This is too much thinking for a five year old. Wanted my favorite mini game. This shit would have me, me locked see. in looking for Yes, bro. This would cook me up, bro. See, I found it in two seconds. It's, it's obvious. It's obvious. When I would play it, bro, it, it'd like be like this, bro. Or like, this is like all you get. Like, I don't know. It was just so fucking hard for me, bro. Wario, Luigi, whoever big nose ass I was supposed to be looking for. I could I not do find my it. Absolute best to find them as quickly as I can. Trying to get that time turned into nanoseconds. I ain't recorded then, but I bet on your grandma's soul I got the world record on this. I was soon as I took a glance at who's wanted and I find them, I would beat my stylist on that bottom screen harder than I am. I did not treat my DS with care. Yeah. And I can't not bring up Luigi's Casino games. This game put me on some of my favorite hobbies. Investing. But when I played these games, <laughs> I was so bad at them. Yeah. I didn't know how to play poker. I was fine. Luigi didn't care though. He ain't mind hustling the kid. Only game Facts. I was good at was matching cards. And ever since my losing streak against Luigi, I vowed to never lose in the casino ever again. No Cap. matter the game. Terrible promises. I do not so. think my promise is going well. <laughs> the 1v1 multiplayer was the best thing about the game. The first person to get all five stars or takes the other person's lives wins. This is the game where bonds would be broken. Because we would absolutely abuse each other in this. Bro, it's the fact that this pretty lengthy game was on a portable console, bro. It's mind-blowing. The PSP, same thing, bro. I was feeling on Liberty City stories on PSP, bro. No cap. Jumping on our heads no above pits. Using the giant mushroom to stomp them out and destroy the stages. And when I'd get the blue shell, wrap it up. Because whoever got that won the game. I'd just be cruising in that shell back and forth, killing my bro constantly. Till he lost everything and I won. It ain't fun at all being on the other side of that. But being that felt exquisite. This game was so fire, bro. New Super Mario Bros. is super replayable, yeah. fun, and has one of the best multiplayer modes for the DS. Top tier childhood games right here. Moving on from that, imagine something that had all your favorite characters put together in one room for your entertainment. Uh, no, I'm not talking about... What was it called? I. Oh my god, what was the name of that? Super. That's so sweet life of Hannah Montana. I forgot the name of the game. I know I what he's talking Smash about. Bros. Smash Bros. Smashing Bro. wasn't just a game. It was a lifestyle. I used to grind this game trying to be I'm the best out this. of everyone around me. Even rock the Smash Bros cut at one point. I'm My buns. mains are Lucas, Palatina, and Isabella. And I'd spam the f*** out of their moves. Freezing MFs, exploding MFs, and catching them like a fish. I was not a fun person to play with. <laughs> was I good? <laughs> Let's not go too deep into that. Ass. We're talking about the good times here. I've I been a part of this ass. franchise since Brawl. Well, actually, I was playing Super Smash Flash before that, main in Naruto and Blade, because I never owned a Wii. I waited for the Wii U to come out for me to actually play Brawl. And if Smash Flash was the game to pique my interest... Nah, this looks crazy, bro. Smash Flash? Then Brawl made me a lifetime fan of this franchise because the story mode is a masterpiece. Everyone teaming up against Nintendo's most evil villains, Ganondorf, Bowser, Wario, Rob, to stop them from blowing niggas up to smithereens. Like, the intro scene is the ancient minister blowing up a whole stadium full of people. The villains had no chill. They did not hold back. This is the scariest Wario had ever been for the first time ever. He seemed like a real threat. When he's not in his pants, he knows how to put the fear in people, which made the mode even more exciting. The stakes were high. The story had me on an emotional roller coaster too. Crying on my hands and knees when Ness sacrificed himself to save Lucas, then going absolutely nuts when Rayquaza showed up. Cause for a sec, I thought he was gonna be a playable character. 
but nah, they strip tease me. It's that storytelling Damn. would completely distract me from the fact that it was pretty easy to beat. It takes about <laughs> two and a half SpongeBob movies to complete, but the world for <laughs> me is in a standstill when playing this. I wish every Smash game had a story as good as this one, or even had a story in general. Word of Light was. <laughs> What the fuck? Had what a story the... as good as this Yo, one. Or what is this? Even had a story <laughs> in general. Yo. Word of Light was not it for me, cause it ain't about Dog. you. Outside the boss fights and a few cutscenes, you mostly just fighting NPC spirits collecting trophies for so long. It's boring, bro. And the Wii U version didn't have a story either. Nintendo really only balled out for Brawl for story mode. The series is like the Robocop franchise. Only one of them has a good story, and the rest are... Mm, Brawl is the most nostalgic <laughs> Smash game for me. It's not the best one, oh, but it man. definitely has the best. Hey, I give props to people who can play this. Bro, you know the thing with me is, if there's too much going on in the, street, in the screen, for example, this game, there's like four, yeah, four, four to six people. Isn't the max player six? Four or six, I forget. But bro, shout out to the people who can keep their eyes on their character. Because when I play this game, and I choose Sonic, or anybody, bro, I'm over here looking at Kirby. Or Mario, bro. Like, I can't stick to my character. Does that happen to y'all? Or am I, am I not normal? You know what I'm saying? Like... A story. And also, I can't help but feel nostalgic for the announcement trailers for Ultimate. When Nintendo were dropping teasers for who and what will be added to the game back then would be the most hype I've ever been for any video game. Those were not trailers, those were events. I wouldn't even know or play the games half the characters that were announced were in. Like the hell is a Min Min and damn she got bitch. But seeing everyone <laughs> online go crazy would be enough for me. Binging reaction videos of people going nuts to their favorite characters from titles they love and Fire Emblem. Their reactions to these reviews would be so infectious that I can't help but go crazy watching it with them. What a beautiful time that was. When the next Smash comes out, hopefully- Yeah, it'd be so dope when they bring characters together. I'm not gonna lie. That's like, that's like when they did Jimmy Neutron and, uh, uh, who was it? Timmy Turner, bro? No, Fairly Odd. Yeah, Fairly Odd Parents. When they merged them together, it was like when they did Scooby-Doo with, I think, another show, I forget. Right? And then they did, uh, he showed it here, That's All Raven, Hannah Montana, Sweet Life. I think that, yeah, they merged those two together. Three. It's so fire, bro. We can be as enthusiastic. I trust that we will. Once Nintendo announces Goku will be in Smash, that shit would break the internet. Smash Bros Dead for ass. me is not only a great free for all Dead fighter, ass. but a way of bonding. I ain't got the best social skills, but soon as you pull out the Switch that is not a strap and you're trying to smash, you'll have me wagging my tail like a Labradoodle. We smashing, bro. And I ain't gonna hold back on it. What are we talking about? Smash Bros. is one of my favorite <laughs> video game franchises. Yo, this man's commentary. Of all time. But when talking Yo. nostalgia, nothing comes close in this race other than a spiky, blue haired, Sonic. alien creature. I used to draw this man, bro. About no other than Rick from Rick and Morty. Hey, Sonic yo. is my favorite childhood video game franchise of all time. Really? Sonic? They were, de they were good games, bro. I'm not going to lie. Sonic games were tough. Um, my favorite franchise. Damn, that's fucking tough. There's so many, bro. There's Halo, GTA, COD, Metal Gear Solid, Mario's, Need for Speed. I couldn't even choose for real, bro. There, there's hit or misses with with every um uh, franchise series. I know that might sound so weird to some of y'all because Sonic fans don't have the best rep going for us. In fact, the franchise itself don't got a good rep with games being a Russian roulette to being great or garbage. I know there's a lot to be turned off by, <laughs> but if you ignore the bad things, there's only good things. Plus, the first Sonic <laughs> game I remember... If you ignore the bad things, there's only good things. Obviously, bro. Nah, that's a funny way to think about it, though. Or to put it. Remember liking and playing <laughs> was Sonic the Hedgehog. Nah, not that one, the good one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This was one of the first this 360 one? games I've ever played. Hold on. Because this one, this one, I didn't like this one. On the good one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
This Can was one of the one? first 360 games I've ever played. Most of us know how infamous this game yes, is. Yes, I did. It's known as one of the worst I Sonic did. games. The controls were bad. Yeah, the I played this shit. This was another one me and my cousin were on heavy too, bro. Damn, this was one of the worst? Considered the worst? I I enjoyed it, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I actually enjoyed it. The camera was all over the place. It was. Long I enjoyed it, though. screens that pop up all the time. Glitches everywhere. And just a terrible gaming experience. <laughs> a terrible gaming experience if you're above the age of seven. Yeah. And since I wasn't, when I played it, I loved it. it I would play calm, this all the yeah, time. Bro. I thought everything about this was so cool. The story being calm. Dr. Eggman kidnaps Princess Elise to get her Chaos Emerald. And to find out the secrets of the Flames of Disaster, also known as Iblis. So he can do his plan of world domination. And Sonic gotta stop him. But also, Silver comes from 200 years in the future, where the world is over. It looked like hell. And it's completely taken over by Iblis. And Silver is told by a guy named Mephilus that the only way to stop this from happening is to kill Sonic. But that isn't true because Mephilus is actually the other half of Iblis, and he's the bad guy. You can also play Shadow too. Mephilus, I thought, was such a cool villain. His character design went hard. His voice was deep and menacing. In my eyes then, that's all you needed to be evil. I thought the story and characters were engaging and interesting. Though, even as a kid, seeing Elise kissing Sonic was a little weird. Especially when seeing Amy. Like, his girls are right there. Bro. Some of the levels were fun too. He escaped my favorite. You sometimes get to ride a pimp out here, boy. Ride an eagle and drive a car. Are y'all sold on this game yet? But I can't talk about this game with- I enjoyed it, bro. Without mentioning the glitches. I enjoyed it. Because they're legit everywhere. Walking <laughs> upside down on loops. Getting sent to space. Whatever Yo. it is. <laughs> Yo. These glitches would happen so frequently that- I Bro, could... some of the glitches were funny as shit too, bro. Especially the ones that launch you up in the air. Get how people would hate this game and find it unplayable. Because it was. Crazy. However, maybe it was all the red 40 and pencils I ate then. But- I didn't really mind them. In fact, I'd have fun with the glitches on some of my replays. Look, I know for a fact I'm Facts. looking at this game through rose-tinted glasses. I know if I were to play this today with the patience I have, if one glitch Fuck killed no. me, I'm a rage quit and switch to a game that I actually enjoy. Damn. However, Kid Me loved it. I would replay it, and it's not like I ain't have other games. I played this because it was fun. I played this during a time of my life that only that version of me would enjoy this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. But I can still see myself playing it in the near future. Future. Yeah, 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 yeah. Project 06 version, though. I'm not dealing with those loading screens. I love Sonic 06. <laughs> it turned me into a fan. So imagine how I felt when I played my first good Sonic game. Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed is my favorite Sonic game. Sonic Very turns nice. into a werewolf. That's the story. Take my money. The game also Very starts nice. off with the best looking Sonic cutscene I've ever seen. This shit rivals Pixar. The levels were so. <sighs> Zesty. In the daytime, Zesty. you play as regular Sonic, blasting through stages almost effortlessly in a way I hadn't seen oh, Sonic do. Then again, bro, my cousin. Shout out my fucking cousin, bro. He was on timing with a lot of games, bro, that I played. I'm not gonna lie. Because think about it, right? You're playing a game and you're stuck on it. You're not thinking about any other games. That was me. I was stuck on MW2. I was stuck on Need for Speed Underground. I was stuck on GTA San Andreas. I'm stuck on the Game Boy SP Pokemons, but I'm stuck on these games. I don't care for nothing else, bro. So when I'm going to my cousin's crib, he got everything. I'm like, yeah, let me try that right there. That one in, 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 in two, three hours. Let's go to this one too. Can I borrow some games too? No, fuck it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, nighttime, you switch to Werewolf Sonic. Although you were a lot slower, swinging and doing combos on those robots and dog things always felt satisfying. The boss fights are. <laughs> Whoopee! They were a good mix of challenging while also being exciting. Besides this one, I hated it. When playing this, it was the best Sonic gaming experience I've had at that point. It was smooth for sure. Great. The controls actually work, and there are quick time events. <laughs> Sensation. But easily my favorite part of Sonic Unleashed is this little nigga right here, Chip. Chip is a fairy bat hybrid, I think, who, when losing his memories after Sonic fell on top of him from falling from outer space, becomes his quirky comedic sidekick. For a lot of the game, he don't do much other than cracking jokes, handing out chocolate to people, and just being a vibe. That's all I needed <laughs> out of him. We weren't just on a mission to get his memories back and defeat an Eggman. On this adventure, we have become friends, companions, and I never wanted it to end. Spoilers for Sonic Unleashed in three, two, one. It ends!
Guns, bro. After going to the temple to regain the Chaos Emerald's powers, Chip gets his memories back. And apparently this dude is God. His real name is Light Gaia. His job is to protect the world from Dark Gaia. And for millions oh, and shit. millions of years, Dark Gaia would nah, hold on. protect the world from Dark Okay, I don't know anything about this. Again, I played the game, but not, not too much. Like, I didn't get far, far into the game. I just only played for a few hours. You telling me, little man over here, it, it, gotta throw hands with this? Huh? Guy. What's going and on? For millions of millions of years, Dark Gyre would get stronger to destroy the Earth, and Chip would rebuild it back over again. And since Damn. Eggman awakened Dark Gaia, he's got to stop it from destroying the planet. So yeah, he's God. And when we're at the end game boss fight, they are facing that Dark Gaia crazy. in an epic battle with them winning at the end. Because obviously God fuck? and Supersonic on the same team is like Shaq and Kobe. Might as well bench yourself when seeing them come. But what I didn't <laughs> see coming is Chip saving Sonic's life and staying behind at the earth's core and we watch him sink into the lava seeing him hold the fuck on because now i'm remi now i'm remembering this fight and that character dark gaia because of this scene right here well first of all him being revived sonic being revived and then this scene too Okay, so then my cousin played it, cause I don't I don't remember playing it, trying to beat him, but my cousin played it and I was watching. Okay, all right, I remember now. My memory's cooked, bro. Earth's core, and we watch him sink into the lava, seeing him for the last time. <laughs> my nigga Chip is dead. <laughs> he died for our sin. This game had me feeling emotions I thought I would never feel for a video game. That by the end of the game, after crying my heart out, it made me want to go on this adventure again so it would never end. Sonic Unleashed is my favorite Sonic game, making me a lifetime fan of the franchise. Not only of the games, but hey, of bro. Sonic itself. I used to be watching those Sonic bloopers and creepy pasta videos from back then. Sonic for Hire went two times platinum on my iPad. I'd often <laughs> play fan-made Sonic games on the computer. Final Fantasy Sonic, that's just a work of art, bro. If I had a time machine, I'd show this to Leonardo da Vinci, cause I know he'd quit. I know he knows he can't make something half as good as this. And every Saturday morning, you know I had Sonic X playing on my TV. That Amy Ghost episode had me doodoo in my pantalones. Hell I kinda yap- that, Bro, that is so- My TV. That Amy Ghost episode had me doodoo in my pantalones. Animatronic. Freddy Fazbear head ass shit, bro. What the fuck? Pantalones. I'm kind of yapping at this point. Sonic is the best. Sonic for president. Let's wrap it up. And those were my childhood video games. Of course, Damn. they weren't all of them. I didn't bring up no Flash or mobile games. And he didn't bring Sony, PlayStation. I didn't even bring up Pokemon. Jeez. Ooh, Pokemon too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this video has already taken too long to make. I'm basically editing on a Chromebook. Bear with me here. <laughs> and if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I Got you, gang. you my massage through the screen. Hey, then yo. in the comments, tell me about your favorite childhood video games and what you liked about it. And that's all I really wanted to say. So in conclusion, Veridi still for Smash. I ain't forget. Guys, crazy, 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 bro. Damn, I already mentioned it, but I'll, 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 I'll mention my, my, my top five, bro. Top five. Let's, let's pick five. MW2 2009. GTA San Andreas, Pokemon, Pokemon Emerald, I think I played the most compared to all the other ones, Pokemon Emerald, and then you got, you got Me for Speed Underground, yes, and then, oof, Mario Party 7 on the GameCube. Mar it was one of the Mario Parties. I think it was 6 or 7. Those five games right there are my top five favorite that I've ever played. Now, I could go an extra five.
I'm going to just keep it at five. You can count those as series, bro. You got Need for Speed, uh, uh, Call of Duty, uh, GTA, uh, Pokemon, and, 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 and uh, Mario. Top five series right there. No cap. Let me know your top five. W video. He needs to drop a part two, though. I want to hear his, his thoughts on the, uh, his favorites on the Sony side, PlayStation side. The amount of chronically on, chronically? Bro, what the fuck? The amount of chronically online this man has to be to have this many views in this 25 minute bit is insane. 1730, if you know this bad things, there's only good things. <laughs> that ass. Bro, imagine it sound like Unleashed literally gave me too many memories. I'm glad I'm not the only one who grew up on that game. 2035 using Google on a video. Hey, yo. The opening scene for Sonic Unleashed was different, bro. Like if the gen should kiss Sonic. Hey, yo. If you're going to know the bad things, you only have good things. Little Big Planet 1 and 2 were my childhood games. Little Big, Little Big Planet 1 was fun as shit, bro. Hold on. It was literally the first game I ever played. What? How old are you, car? Yo, Little Big Planet was like 2012, 13, or no, 20. 13 or 14 because the p it came out on the ps4 no i'm fucking lying again ps3 it came out on ps3 oh my god that's old bro 2011 that was your first game oh man you done missed the whole playstation 2 gamecube era game boy all oh, nintendo nah nah they still had the ds psp maybe Nah, gang. I, I, yo, I really feel for those who haven't played the older games, bro. And if you can, go play them. You're gonna have so much fucking fun, bro. No cap. No cap, bro. Hey, let me know what you guys thought.